Welcome back, everybody. We've got a hot round three for you. Fiendsus, thank you for the follow. Thanks uh, for the follow. A casual burn v Eldrazi Tron match. Uh, how's this one play out? So, I think if Burn can get under, uh, I think they're in good shape. But uh, Eldrazi Tron has access to Chalice, right? Which can really kind of frustrate. And so they got to get their one mana spells out early and hope they just have Boros Charm for days. All right. Does that Let's, sound about right? That sounds about right to me. Oh, Let's and uh, Rift Bolt. Oh, Rift Bolt. Yeah, that's taken under the Chalice. Uh, but I love a good uh, Tron oh, just getting it, and so I don't think he has the turn three natural Tron, which I've never played against a Tron deck that didn't. But well, he's got three draws. <laughs> he does have three. That's draws. the beauty of a uh, Tron is that uh, you get to see the top half of your deck to get the top three <laughs> or top. He's three. throwing it back because his odds of naturally hitting Tron on turn three were too low. <laughs> too low. Um. So the, <laughs> the, the so Rabble Master. Why isn't Rabble Master in the burn deck? That's the true. Why isn't Rabble Master in the burn deck? It's probably, it's probably too slow for the burn deck. Wow! Don't be talking. Don't be talking smack about man. I listen, my boy. I like him, but in the burn deck, costing three, it's got to be ending the game like right now. Yeah, no, I don't think it's actually a legitimate card to be playing. Post board. Post board. <laughs> against what? <laughs> Cards that burn spells aren't good against. Leyline of Sanctity. Leyline of Sanctity. Sure. Sure. Okay, guys. You hear it here first. If you can get red mana, put Rabbit Highly Master in your deck. Highly recommended. Post board uh, for... I don't know what your name is, but thank you for the follow. Uh, Pixie Affogato. Yeah, Pixie Affogato. <laughs> <laughs> I think an Affogato is like a coffee and ice cream. Really? Don't hold me to that. Pixie Affogato, let me know. Uh, yeah, Affogato. So, does Zach have land in this hand? Oh, there's one land. The old one lander. So, I think that's going to be the problem is that uh, with just one land and on the draw, draw he might just be locked out by Chalice. Um, but If it comes down to that. Uh, that might just not be an issue. I see a walking ballista and a mind stone. And a bunch of land. This is so, a weird keep by Connor. And also, is this the optimal way of playing out our lands? Is Clearly not. Two power plant? Yeah, so he's got a wastes in hand and a seagate wreckage. Okay. So I can't imagine a world where playing the second power plant's the right call, but Man, Zach just slinging those spells. Slinging the burn yeah. spells. If you don't have an extra land, you gotta sling them around. Uh, and he does not have an extra land. <laughs> awkward position for Zach. Why is that awkward? Uh, so because he can... Searing plays this walking ballista, which is normally pretty nice, but loses he'll, he'll just lose his guy with a trigger on the stack. Um, You'll still deal the three damage because walking or because uh, searing blaze targets the player. Okay, so he just went for it. Um, I was wondering if there's a a way in which you can maybe try to lava spike and then attack, but he just might not have. He has a lava spike. He would need a bolt. In okay, addition. so a, a lava spike and a bolt. He just didn't have it. Correct. Okay. I was hoping that he could get like an instant speed prowess trigger. He just doesn't have that, no. And these Eidolons have to be so bad. Definitely not good. An Inbringer wow. is a, a heater. Talk about bringing the end. That uh, Goblin guy is not going to do anything here. You just have to start at 11. You just have to start doming him, right? Yeah, I mean. Ooh, oh, God. the Basilisk Collars. That, that's probably going to earn a scoop. We got a skull crack though. We do have a skull crack. Does Inbringer deal damage to creatures? It can ping creatures. It can ping creatures. 
Oh man, that death touch. God. Skullcrack. Skullcrack saved us there. But he'll get one back on the next turn. Draws a bolt. Uh, Doesn't have a land for it. Um so we're not killing them this turn. Yeah, we're we're dunsies. This is probably just game. Is it a 5-5 five five or a 6-6? Six six? It's a 5-5. Five five. So maybe we just shove our uh, goblin guide in? I mean, he could just ping it. Oh. Well, then he would gain off the life. Okay, yeah. This is... I can't imagine a way in which I mean, we get out of this. I mean, if he blocks the goblin guide and, and gains we bolt 5 it? and we bolt it, that's not the end of the world. But he could just ping it. Well, what does the pinging do? Oh, the death touch, death touch. Yeah, right. so... I'm not sure Inbringer can ping creatures. I feel like I've never had a creature pinged. But I play four fives and two right. twos. I don't think it would ping a four five or a two two. But I think sure it, I thought it pinged players. We'll let we'll let our spotted monkey pull that one up. Because also this awful awful promo art. Yeah, that is not a good art at all. Spotter monkey, show me the end. There is the end. Uh, it can deal one damage to target creature. That is a. Yeah it. It is not the beginning, by any means. It is just the end. Oh, so Zach, I think, is going to be forced to... Oh, he's going to get on land. He saw right through it. Yeah, we're dunsies. Yeah. Yeah, Zach's like, he had to have it, and he had it. And or he didn't have to have it, he had to know the line. He had to see the line, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Well, fucking Basculus Scholar. Yeah, that uh, that put a stop to that real quick. That's a beating and a half. Um, let's see if Connor's got... Do they typically run Chalice in the main, or is it just out of the board? I think Chalice in the main. Wow. Somebody correct me on this. I'm uh, pretty sure Chalice in the main. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played the Eldrazi Tron. Actually, Taylor has been playing a little bit of Eldrazi Tron. Yeah, yeah. He, so uh, he would know. He would know, but he's not here because he's a scrub. He is not here. Yeah. That's yeah, Zach's, Zach's draw just lined up very poorly against Connor's draw uh, at, at all stages of the game. Uh. Yeah, the the ballista was kind of a hassle. Fort Tweezy, thank you for the follow. Are you sure it's not Fort Wheezy? Fort Wheezy, pretty sure. Oh, Fort Wheezy. Fort Wheezy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Fort Wheezy. Fort Tweezy. Fort Tweezy. Sorry. Like forethought. Fort Tweezy. Yeah, yeah Fort Tweezy. What came before Tweezy? Nobody knows. Concur. One of the one of the <laughs> great thoughts of our time. <laughs> what came before <laughs> Tweezy? Wheezy. There you go. See, it's not really profound like the chicken or the egg. I mean, it's pretty profound. But you've got an answer because that's what you do. I am a philosopher. You that are the true. philosopher. <laughs> the old philosopher king over here. Um, all right. So, I don't know. I, I'm really disheartened. What are you, why are you disheartened? What's disheartening here? Not a big Tron fan. Me either. And I was hoping for a good match. Our, our first two <laughs> matches were kind of beatings. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid that Zach might just get ousted just get here. crushed here? Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be good. You would expect the burn deck to really get under this Eldrazi Tron deck. Especially if they don't have the Chalice. Well, if it did, then it would be better than it is in the meta. Right. Burn's not bad in the meta. Burn's fine. It's fine. It's always fine. Yeah. You always beat the players that don't, like, board for it or didn't draw it. Like, it's fine. I'm waiting for a meta shift in Modern. I like a couple of the decks. If I had way more disposable income, I would spend the requisite $300 to play this Gorio's Vengeance deck. Because that deck looks sweet. It looks fine. But I'm not willing to throw $200 into Gorio's, Gorio's Vengeance. So. Yeah. Um little thought can we just uh well first of all like rabble masters taking over the format oh, and yeah. how do we beat that a 1-4 i think we should just bring Pudding. back splinter twin 
Padeem. 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 <laughs> Easy. Uh, put Easy Padeem game. in your affinity deck, and uh, can we just bring back Splinter Twin? Yeah. yeah I mean, you can. I'm just really... play Sahili. Easy, easy game. No, 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 no. no, I, I just, no, no. Let's bring back Splinter Twin. Okay. Right? Yeah, it's really good. I'm just tired of all this random, like, bollocks just, like, going around. There's just so much silly stuff. I want... See, I selfishly want Splinter Twin to be a deck because I want to play Jund again. And if Splinter Twin is a deck, then Jund is... Splinter Twin pushes out the Riff Raff. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm over the Riff Raff. I think that this Eldrazi Tron deck just... <clears throat> Yeah, we're done with the Riff Rats. We just want the Street Rats. That's all we're willing to put up with here. I love a good Street Rat. Yeah, who doesn't love a good Street Rat? Or a good Pack Rat, for that matter. Um, Like, we just saw, like... Eh, well, the, the, the Shadow Match was a little weird, but, like... Turn 4 isn't that uncommon in this format. No, no, not at all. I mean... So, it's not a turn 3 win-the-game format... It's a turn three going to have board position to the point where, like, it's very inevitable that I'm going to win the game. Yeah. I, the debate's been rehashed and rehashed. I just think that it was always silly to ban it in the first place. And oh, I, I definitely agree with banning it in the first place. I just don't think it should. Well, well, I could see it coming off the ban list. We'll put it that way. Yeah. I, it was right before Eldrazi. Eldrazi were a, a beast and a half. Yeah. I think that banned deck would have run it over. Path and Stubborn Denial? Yeah. Like. The problem is they can't ever tap out. Oh, oh he has the uh, Basilisk Collar turn one, so. That's pretty rough. Um, let's is. see if Zach. Come on, Zach. Let's get him. Let's kill the Drazis. Yeah. Kill the, the Spaghetti Regrettis. Scum of the Earth. Uh, friendly reminder that it's Mean Girls Day. Thank you for that friendly reminder. And no, Chris Hutchinson, we do not need more Siege Rhinos. Okay, so we don't have a creature. We didn't have a walking ballista for this uh, Basilisk Collar. Uh, we have creatures. We just don't have the appropriate creature, it looks like. What creature does he have in hand? Uh, Mattery Shaper, Thought Not Seer. Just his pick of the litter. Man. So let's see if Zach can get under Zach, these. Zach is excited. He is uh, flipping some cards. Oh, Oh, man, is that the game? Is this uh, seven in hand, five on board? This is 12. <sighs> Got him. He had natural Tron. <laughs> yeah. But thank goodness there isn't a Splinter Twin. <laughs> Still had all these natural Trons. I think they should ban Urza's Tower. I hate Tron with a passion. Oh, if that was an option, then yeah, that's what we automatically do. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota Guy Ton 415. It could be Mind Guy. Mind Guy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just really enjoying like disagreeing with your reading of names. All right. Well, enlighten us in the chat. Well, let us know, Minnesota yeah, us Guy. Know. Thank you for the follow regardless, and welcome to the stream. So... We saw Burn win there on turn three. That's what I'm talking about. On right the there. play. On the play. And he had the Basilisk Collar. Like, things could have been bad next turn for him. Things could have been very... It was going to get very bad. I think Was it Reality Smasher with Basilisk Collar? I don't know if he had a Reality... He definitely had a Thought Knots here. He had a Thought Knots here. Okay. Well, the Thought Knots here was too late, even. Um, that was definitely a hand where he probably wanted Eldrazi uh, Temple, and he had uh, Tron. What a dumb deck. Uh, Four Tweezy says it doesn't put up the numbers to get banned. Eldrazi is the best version. It still doesn't even top eight every week. I agree that it doesn't put up a ton of numbers. Uh, part of that is because everybody hates it with a passion and nobody wants to play it. And there's no modern Pro Tour. Well, there hasn't been a modern Pro Tour. We are, we're back to modern Pro Tours now. Oh, yeah. that's gonna. When is that? January? I think the first one's in January. Yeah. Should um, be very interesting to see what I, happens. I think this is a Tron Lancer just a play pattern that I don't want in the format. No, that's I, all. Yeah, I and think like it, it in creates, the same way, I don't want to play against Cloud Post. I don't want to play. Yeah, it just creates this inevitable end game to where like there'll never be a hard control deck, and there will never be like a good mid range, like a a big mid range deck. 
but that's the thing though. There is like there are now control decks like blue white and stuff like that's playable and stuff like that more so than the past. And Correct. So may maybe it's fine. I just it Tron is definitely a bad matchup for that deck though. Damn. Shoe seal throwing shade in chat. I, I can't read. I'm that f pretty far away from the chat. Well, let me let me enlighten you. It's not that. Just people who like mid-range decks hate Tron because they cast 7-drop turn 3, and they get salty and want it banned. You're not wrong. Well, You're you cast wrong. a 7-drop on turn 3. Okay, <laughs> that's literally what the deport... Like. You're not wrong. There is definitely salt involved. And it is definitely because it happens to me all the time. And so I do like playing mid-range decks on occasion. So this is the thing. Uh, mana is like, there's a kind of gradation to it. On turn right. three, you have access to three mana. On turn four, you might have four mana, five mana. Um, right. And so... We can cheat a little bit. We can talk about, like, uh, Zach's round one. He had six mana on turn two. Or no, turn three. Six mana on turn three. Sure. And it looked like a really aggressive, like, turn. He passed, and he jammed with a smasher. Yeah. So having that additional man on turn three, casting Karn, which is kind of a hard card to interact with as a planeswalker, it's just kind of Yeah. It's it's a bit much. It you're salty for good reason. People are breaking the rules of the game in terms of having access to additional mana. Yeah, I just want to play good old fashioned Magic the Gathering. Like if you want to have seven man on turn three, give me back Deathrite Shaman and I'll like Give me back Deathrite Shaman. I'll have turn th I'll have three man on turn two. Like it'll yeah. be fine. Uh, okay, so we got Ballista a walking ballista. One is very manageable. Yeah, uh, we might actually just have the. We don't have blazes still in our deck, do we? Searing. I hope not. That seems bad. Depends on what you could bring in, honestly. I'm not crazy about having Eidolon in the deck either. Yeah, Eidolon has to go. So I mean, there's only obviously only so many cards you can bring in. Ugh. Uh, so banning map is interesting in that, like, it hurts the deck. You can but find I don't want to hurt the deck. I don't care if they have, like, the turn one map and then the turn two pop it and then the turn three they have Tron. It's when they don't do anything and then have the natural Tron on turn three that makes me salty. <laughs> and it makes me very salty. Jeez. That was a free Knight's Whisper. Yeah. Very. Took two, drew two. <laughs> Easy peasy. Uh. So what's his turn three? I guess map pop it. Still doesn't look great. Yeah, I kind of want to interact with this board. But what are, what are the payoffs in his hand? Uh, Didn't really get a good look. Yeah. He is a pun. He's flipping these cards. So it's punishing the announcers here. Punished reality smasher and batter skull. It looks that like. looks that doesn't look like a searing blaze still in hand. Yeah, like I said, there's only so many cards you can take out, and man, this is double suspend rift ball here is not bad. Not what you want. No, because you've already got this prowess guy on table. Five. But yeah, yeah, just send five. Uh, I believe that was an endbringer left on top. Two Rift Bolts. All right, so we're going to have Tron next turn. What is it? What are we going to do with eight mana? Ugin? What are we going to do with eight mana? I don't think I saw an Ugin. I, I think don't think there's an Ugin like in the deck. Batter Skull, keep mana up. Ooh, Batter Skull would be a beating. Tough. Batter Skull might be beatable with... There's also... It still drew the Endbringer off the top. Easy peasy. Damn nice. Moto Shuffler. See, remember the token? Oh, he's got the... The uh, Custom RK Post token. Not sure what it is of. I'm not sure either. Oh, get just. So do we send one of these at the batter skull? Uh, do we send both of them at the batter skull? Well, if you have the searing blaze. Oh, the searing blaze, yeah. Uh, so that would actually. But you would need a land. No, you don't even need the land because it's a four-four. 
the one mana from the Searing Blaze will get it. Oh, sure. You want the land. The land is additional value, but, right. like, uh, I think just actually... Yeah, let's let's do that, Zach. Let's shoot him for one. Yeah, let's go. Let's go one up and one. Yeah, we got him, right? Yeah, I think you got him here. I don't know what you had to play around for three colorless, but. Sitting both of the germ token, I guess, just to be safe here. He's got a lightning helix. Well, plus. he's got it lethal on the board already. Yeah, so he's at 10. Connor's at 10. Oh, yeah, Connor's at 10. Connor is at 10. Uh, so 10 life for The Connor lightning right helix in hand will put him to 7. And then now we get to attack for, eight. for 8. Wow. So there you go. Zach battled through it. Well... Connor's draw was a little anemic. I think that the, the, this matchup is really kind of centered around Chalice, and to not see that in three games is yeah pretty rough. Um, so yeah, mid range player over here rejoicing that Tron got their yeah got their very comeuppance. Happy. We're going to uh, spend about thirty minutes doing a victory dance around the store. Yeah, we're just after watching these cracks some bottles. And I don't really I like Eldrazi. I don't like the Tron part. Yeah, of it. yeah. Zach, Zach's deck, I think, is fine. I think it plays on like a solid level. Like also, totally very bad for mid range decks. Don't get me wrong. You oh don't yeah, 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 yeah. Mid range deck. Uh, but thanks for the follow, Simonidis. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, you don't, you don't get the like super impressive turn three car or turn three worm coil or something just ridiculous. You're still like doing it. impressive things on like turn three. Like yeah, he casts the Absolutely. reality smasher and a path. Yeah, I mean um, that was a little bit of a nut draw, but yeah, definitely. But it's more it's easier to interact with. It's possible to interact with. Let's put it that way. Yeah. And I think that like Bant as an additional mid range deck in the format mm -hmm. is fine. Oh absolutely. The fact is that Eldrazi Tron goes over the mid range. like and you would still have ramp decks in the form of prime time. Oh sure. Yeah, you could still ramp into like some Valakut kills and things like that. Yeah. Uh so that's our thoughts on the format. You that's know. our thoughts on Take it or leave it, you the know. Tron lands and why you should Tear them all up. By the way, if you own Tron lands, you should just tear them all up. Just do it. Trust me. Yeah. You'll be better for it. You'll thank me in the morning. You spend 30 minutes doing that. We're going to do our victory lap. We'll be back here Pops soon. Pop some bottles. With round four. All right.